suppose you've got a refrigerator in the bed of your pickup and you put a line over it and tighten it down so that the fridge doesn't tip, right? Well, how do you do that? You've probably used a trucker's hitch in the past. It gives you a mechanical advantage to really put some tension on the line. And uh, that's what we're gonna do today, but I'm gonna show you a trucker's hitch with a twist. I used to work on a shrimp boat in North Carolina, and this is what we called an anchor hitch. Front. Now, the idea of a trucker's hitch is to create a loop, a midline loop in the rope, and then run this end of the rope through the loop and then back that way. It's like a pulley system. What you wanna do is create a loop in the midline. Now, what you've probably done in the past is create a bite in the rope and then just tie a simple overhand knot, like the way you start tying your shoes. The problem with this is that it jams and then after you've put a lot of tension on it and it's time to untie this rope, you probably wind up cutting it. If it's just bailing twine, you don't care, but if it's a rope like this, you do care. You don't want to cut it. Maybe you were smart and you tied a figure of eight knot to create a loop. If these coils roll over each other under tension, it's gonna be very difficult to untie. What I'm gonna show you is a very easy knot to tie and untie, very quick to tie and untie. If you're a climber, a mountaineer, you already know this one. It's called the Alpine Butterfly. Put your hand on top, okay? And just twist it around like this. See there? And go around another time. See, there's an X right here. You wanna reach behind the X and grab this loop that's on the back of my hand. So you're gonna reach through this X and go under and take this loop and pull it out, okay? And then you're gonna feed it into this hand and hold it right there and then grab these two and pull them over so that you're pulling this loop through. Okay, now this is the important part I want you to get. Once you've done that, I want you to carefully work this to where these two pieces are parallel, not crossing, okay? I don't want them crossing on this side. I want them parallel on this side where these two loops are. I want it to cross in the back, and I want it parallel here. So just work that in, pull this out like that then you can pull it tight. And that ensures that this will be easy to untie when you're done. Now I have a midline loop. Now what we have here is a pulley system. So for every pound that I pull in this direction, I'm applying two pounds here, so I'm doubling my mechanical advantage. Now that's theoretical, because of friction here and here, I'm actually not getting double. Now the more you can pull this, of course, the more tension you put on that end of the rope. Yeah. You wanna gain a mechanical advantage so you can really tighten down on it. And for that, you need a midline loop, but you don't wanna cut the rope when you're done. So you wanna tie a loop that's easy to untie. So is it easy to untie? Well, yes, and I'll prove it. I just wiggle this until I can grab hold of these two loops. Watch this 
falls right out. No tricks here. You saw it happen. You need to know the alpine butterfly. Wrap this around once and then twice. Reach through the X and under it for the loop that's on the back of your hand and pull it out. Then feed it right here under these two guys. Pull it tight. Cross in the back, not in the front. Alpine butterfly, learn it, use it, love it. Knots are fun. Go to the blog, survivalnewsonline.com. I'll have a lot more details about this kind of knot. See ya.